Jet, Reyna, Brimstone, Sova, and Killjoy. No, this isn't your typical rank comp. This group of agents is what Bleed Esports used to dominate the Pacific Ascension tournament and ultimately make it into franchising. Now, don't get me wrong. These agents on paper might look troll, but I promise these five might be the future of Pearl. Especially with the new map changes, teams are playing it entirely differently. You can't spam B anymore. So what's the meta now? Mid is now useless. Bleed suffocating defense carried this team to multiple blowout wins over their competition. And today we're breaking down just why this ranked about Domination is infecting the tier one scene. Brimstone and friends are down 9 to 3, and that's kind of okay. Believe it or not, but this comp is more defense sided than it appears. If you have a solid jet who can control B main, and teammates who understand how the map works now that this site isn't the freest thing in the world anymore, this comp can be an absolute headache to play against. You'll see. Bleed start in a 2 3 setup, and you're going to see this a lot. Sova's job is to help jet set up on B long. With the new changes, attackers have way less cover to play behind as they scale up site. And with Sova's kit, he's able to scan through these smokes and give jet a way clearer idea if anyone is crossed. Way better than any other initiator. Killjoy is anchoring mid, Brimstone is ready to hold out and dug out, and Reyna is going to contest a main a bit before heading back to join her Brimstone. Hmm. Their mid seems pretty weak. Interesting. And Boomy Esports are ready to split B quick, with four players plowing through street and Viper taking B main solo. Now, this doesn't look so great, because normally when you go for B splits, it's important that you have B main control. If you go through street without this space, the defense can sit here and focus all their attention on one of the tightest choke points in the game. But if you do have B main, then the defense is going to get crunched from multiple angles. So maybe if they go quick enough, they can take the defense by surprise? A boom explodes out of the gate with a guiding light for door, a Harbor Cascade to block off connector, and they sprint on in. They break Killjoy's turret, and Crazy Guy, I, I love his name, jump spots to investigate. He spots three people barreling down street, he turns to sight, rips a shock dart to slow them down, and does a ton of chip damage. Crazy Guy has the offense pinned, and they're struggling to get out of the choke. Where's Viper? She hasn't left B main yet. I mean, granted, if she does go down, her team loses a lot of map control, but they need to relieve some of this pressure somehow. And Bleed have smoked off B main, anticipating some form of pinch but it isn't there. Now the offense has nowhere else to go. Harbor throws down his cove to stop the spam and Jet gets ready to fly. Four win their game against Bunkers because they know how these spike plants are set up and oh. they just wait for it. The counter arrow's way too good and Bleed just get easy pickets. Sova's recon arrow landed at the perfect time to break apart this execute. And with these strong positions that Jet and Sova were posted up in, Boom just weren't going to get on site despite gaining mid control almost instantly. Hmm, interesting. Maybe these parts of the map are overrated. Bleed converted the Anna Eco with a perfect anchor job back site, and Boom is on their first full buy, but the defense are all in and have bought an op. Boom need this round, or otherwise the 9-3 curse is going to start looking a lot more real. They're starting in a 1-1-3 setup, prioritizing a main control to build up Harbor's reckoning. The attackers cascade off a main, flash around the corner, and Jet dashes in. Harbor gets his orb, but the defense aren't phased. Not a single person is moving. This is because their game plan is to stall out from back site and buy time for their teammates to rotate and flood in. And this is exactly what we saw on their anti-eco. Brimstone is going to smoke in such a way that his teammates can leak out a flower and disrupt the plant by spamming through dugout. And with the way that site is laid out, Reyna can contest a main, play back site, or play anywhere really, get one and dismiss to pretty safe locations. This site is kind of built for her. So their plan is to stall, which is this comp's strength. So how can Boom counter this? Once they get Harbor's Orb, the attackers rotate over into mid and they're gearing up for an identical B split as we saw on pistol round. Oh no. Harbor blocks off connector. They flash through the door and sprint down street again. All of Bleed are rotating through spawn, Brimstone smokes them off, and Sova pins his recon on the wall again. Boom sends their dog through the smoke, but it completely misses the op. The attackers? They have a pretty bad feeling about this, so they turn around and head back to their jet. She realizes that mid has been left open, and her team funnels through into connector and are headed to A. Now here's the thing. On Pearl, mid control really isn't that important for defenders. Well, rotation times aren't quicker, peeking out is awkward as the choke points are tight, or you're running a to natural crossfires, and to be honest, it's really overrated. But the one part of mid that is important is connector. If you lose this as a defender, the offense is free to do whatever they want. Uh, go A, then go B, then come back. The attackers have you on a string, and it's a lot similar to losing B heaven and vents on split. Once you lose both of those, the attackers can do whatever. This is why fighting mid to the death on split is so important. But on Pearl, uh, sure, you can contest art and street, or push out from them once a half to catch the offense off guard, or maybe 
maybe break a mid turret, but generally you don't really need these areas. You kind of just need connector. Your main objective, now that B site's been fixed, is to hold out on dugout or halls to buy your team time to rotate over and disrupt the plant. Now back on split, there aren't areas like this you can hold out in, which makes mid there much more important, but not on Pearl. Every map values mid differently, and Bleed play this game plan perfectly throughout this game. But they've lost Connector. The offense have a million different options, and Reyna is the only one left on A. Her teammates are scrambling to get back. Now, the only map control that the attackers have is Art. I mean, there could be defenders in A main, and Viper is wrapping them. But in the meantime, Harbor throws down his cove and plants for Art. All of Bleed are finally here, and with their Spectres, this retake isn't going to be easy. Leer to buy time for his teammates to come in through flowers. They will be able to flood the site once more. The Leer to continue pushing forward. Juicy's holding the close angle. He's trying to deny the pop flash, but no, he has to turn away. And Famous gets the first kill. Half done on the defuse. Darian trying to answer back with his own kills. But boom, Esports stays one step ahead. Darian, he's only got the off 1v2, but he's coming from behind. Severine has set up this. And Bleed can't save the op. All right, this round determines whether or not we have a comeback. Both teams are dangerously low on credits, and whoever loses this one is going to be in a pretty bad spot. Boom are back in their 1-1-3 default, and their goal is to get Harbor his Reckoning. And Bleed are still in their 2-3-ish setup, with Killjoy patrolling Connector. But Jet is mixing things up this time. The attackers open with their A default, Flash, Wall, Dash, Orb. In less than 7 seconds, Harbor has his ult online. Now Darion feels like B has to be weaker if they're committing 3 people over on A. He might be able to catch the offense slacking if they're not careful. So she peeks into club? Wait, that's that's what this area is called? No, oh, okay. And Viper spots Jet. She immediately tells her team that Bleed has pushed up B main, so they start rotating over to flush her back out. But Darion walks back to site. He knows that he's created enough pressure that the attackers are going to use a good amount of utility to clear the area. And if he dies by overcommitting, their defense is going to be a lot weaker with no one contesting B main. So Boom rotates back to B. Sky uses her trailblazer to clear out ramp, and they use another cascade to deny information from any site players. But Jet waits for the dog to expire and peeks out from pillar. Giving it up, but they are still here. It's creeping forward. And the alpha are looking to be what a shot. This is a disaster. Bleed just lost their side anchor, and Brimstone starts rotating over to help out Sova. But his Aldron doesn't spot anything. Sova heads into heaven to spam, but the defense is feeling an A hit after not seeing anything on B. Now Boom starts sprinting back to A, thinking they made enough noise on B, and once Sky and Jet get close, their execute starts. They still have control of mid. Now here comes the Reckoning though, so the site will have to be given up. Bleed, they're gonna have to wait their turn. Sprays. Maybe catches someone, maybe it doesn't, but the tags up are good. Yeah, Famous quite low. Sure, oh. also, okay, Famous eventually gets finished, and now the Odin's gonna start to shine. Spike not quite planted, it actually gets dropped. Only 15 seconds on the clock, it's counting down towards the 10. The attackers just couldn't push back sight. This brim smoke allows the flower players to sit here and continuously spam through the smoke and concentrate it right where Boom likes to path in. And a brim also mollied the default plant spot to restrict them even further. The defense flood back into sight behind the Rainalier, sight smoke, and shut out the round. He has picked Ten it back up, left. but he is not safe. Blazking has to protect him. Berserks will get the kill. Six seconds on the clock. Blazking, oh he's God. just watching for the peak. No! The spike will not get planted, and an instant double kill from Bleed. Boom Esports are down on an eco, but there's one saving grace, their Jets Bladestorm. And they're starting to get a solid read on how the defense are playing. So their plan is to show the same utility they use on their A defaults, but then send four players up art, explode out onto A, and try to clear out dugout. Every round, they've conditioned the defense that whenever they show this utility, they take a main. So this art walkup should be a surprise. But can they finally get past these brim smokes? Boom open up with their standard utility, but it's all a ruse. The attackers are slowly creeping up mid and get closer to the alarm bot. They shoot it and explode. Harbor flips up his high tide, Sky flashes up top, and Jet pummels right through the brim smoke. She takes down Reyna, pushes deeper in her dugout, and isolates the side anchor. But Killjoy at the last second, swings through, and stabs her in the back, and then gets another. This retake smoke gave Killjoy the confidence to swing through and save her brimstone by the skin of his teeth. The two other attackers tried to get the trade, but Brimstone takes them down. Their sight hold is just too strong. This leaves Viper all on her own, but her teammates couldn't beat the flood. It was just too strong. 
Boom Esports, take a timeout to talk things over. Oh, wait, what? Since when can you take a timeout in ranked? Uh, this isn't ranked, man. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, look at their comp. This is definitely ranked. Both teams are showing us something slightly different this round. Look at Bleed's Killjoy setup. Their turret is further back in the connector to spot both sides, but it's not set up to watch Double Door. And their alarm bot is in the water? Bleed are so confident in their side holds that they aren't really worried about mid. I mean, the attackers took connector one round, but their floods and spamming have been working so well that they feel like it's okay to just leave their bots to hold this space and have bodies ready to fight either site. And Boom know that mid is really weak. In their timeout, they talked about how by defaulting into this area, they should be able to break apart some of these anchor setups. But this isn't really the case. And now don't get me wrong. Mid is important for the attackers, so they have an easier time pinching the site, but the defenders, they don't need it so much. Regardless, Boom bursts out of the bye phase with a cascade for Double Door and a flash for Art. Harbor then flips up his high tide in such a way that it cuts off Street and Art, claiming so much space for the attackers. Sova spams his Odin in response to losing Art, but he whiffs on Jet. She pushes into this area, hears his Killjoy turret, and she's like, subscribe to Teats. Wait, no, she, she says, what's this turret doing here? Oh, whatever, and breaks it. And now with Sky peeking in Art as well, the attackers feel like they've dominated mid, but the defense don't care. I mean, maybe they would usually re-clear one of these lanes or contest it a bit harder, but their jet has worked all the way up B main with her op, thanks to Sova's dart to clear out the Viper smoke. With all this map control, they don't really feel like they need connector anymore. The attacker's new plan is to split B, but with three coming from B main this time. This added pressure should make the split a bit easier, but ideally you wanna be further up B main on a split. But hey, this is better. Boom, gather up in the club pop their Viper smoke, and recognize that Jet could be pushed up. So Harbor jump spots a few times and spots the op. He pushes her back with the Cascade, and Jet is forced to run away. Says, okay, I gotta get out of here. I have too much distance to cover up. He's good for she throws a Cloudburst to fill the gap and reposts up on Pillar. She gets the first blood, but she can't get out. Her dash won't reach sight, plus she's getting pinched. She decides to reposition into Cubby and focus on sight. Nice hide into Cubby. Do they expect it? No! The reposition was perfect. Boom finally tread her out and funnel their way into sight, but not before Sova gets another one with his Odin. Viper follows the tracers and gets his trade. She's trying to protect Harbor while he goes for the plants, but against these big ultimates, I don't think he's going to get it off. Oh, the orbital strike, it's gonna deny the plant. That means you have to hold on the Viper's pit as well. It now gets used more so as a smoke, but Neff already inside in. with the shorty. Oh, and Shiro was even trying to prepare for it, but it's not enough. One shot from the shorty, it's scary. Last round, Boom tried to pound it into A, but you know how it goes. Bleed's side hold is just too good, and they can't get Reyna out of dugout. And even if they do, the flood smokes are extremely frustrating to play against. But the offense know how the defense are playing it. They just need to clear out dugout and stop the defense from contesting their plants so early. And it looks like Boom are pretty confident in their 1-4 default. What they're going to do is let Viper apply pressure around the map since Bleed haven't been contesting for much. Hopefully the defense spreads out and they can flush out the anchors. But Bleed open things up differently and smoke off deep into A main and Reyna's pushed up close. She takes a few shots to try and feign some aggression into this space, but the attackers aren't biting. They huddle into the brim smoke and pop flash out of it. A main is clear and Reyna falls to back sight. Step one of Boom Boom's plan is complete. Take a main. Now it's time for Viper to break some bots. After smoking the cross on ramps, she heads back to Double Door, swings up by herself, and the turret's gone. Usually this is pretty risky, but like I said, they know the defense aren't going to fight for much. And Kildra just concedes mid. She heads through water and is holding spawn. She even pulls back her art alarm bot. Sure, they can have art. We don't need mid. So while Boom think they've dragged attention into mid, they start their A execute. I mean, just the, oh man, the discipline from Bleed is so good. They still wait a juicy once again. Kildra lines up a nano, Harbor sends out his wall, and Jet dashes in. Dude, Reyna got flashed, mollied, and was still able to get one and get out. Like I said, this part of the map is built for the duration of Reyna's dismiss to be so good. She gets one in a risky spot and gets out to a completely safer one. And now all of Bleed are here. Brim throws down his smokes, Kildra sprints in to contest even harder, takes down Sky, and Boom are not planting in all of this. Molly, Recon Dart, and Boom are like, forget this, we're out of here. And with Kildra and one HP, they have no other choice but to save. It's all tied up.
Last round, Bleed swapped things up a bit. Their A players were very proactive after not seeing any utility on A, and knowing that the attackers were making a racket on B. Brimstone was able to post up in mid, and was able to punish Boom for their poor spacing. Crazy. Bleed were down 9-3 at one point, and have now taken the lead. They have all of the momentum. So Boom take another timeout to try and stop it. Dude, can you guys just run it up B? Uh, you know they fixed that site, right? Uh, going B isn't nearly as easy as it used to be. Yeah, but I saw this video about how B was broken. I mean, they just added a cubby and some boxes. Just hit it fast. Fine, okay. Boomy Sports are slamming B this round. They're turning back the clock to Old Pearl and plan on hitting this site quick. But Bleed are contesting this push with a Jet Op and her Pocket Sova who's been setting her up all game. Are Boom going to be able to get past them? Viper lobs her orb, pops it to cross, and Harbor sends out his Cascade. Jet knows she can't get one and immediately runs away. But she realizes that she can use the big wall to her advantage and peek right past it. The recon as well. Darion, he just wants one kill, he gets it and he's able to take- She gets hers and her Sova starts spamming through the smoke and finds another. And that's been his job all game. Instead of heavy contesting street, his job is to spam when the attackers push through. If they go B, back up it to spawn and try to deny the plants. I mean, could you imagine trying to plant the spike while trying to deal with an Odin, double shocks, a recon dart, and a jet opping in halls? I mean, even getting up B main itself is a lot harder now because there's way less cover and a lot more potential crossfires the defense can play in. Sova spam secured the second kill here, and all game he's done a phenomenal job at making the attacker's life miserable by contesting street and B main. But as he's running back to halls, Kildred gets the trade. With their street patroller down, Jet goes to clear it out herself. That just means Scary's already arrived. The operator's watching B. And takes out Viper. The two remaining Boom players are stuck behind the everlasting Brim Smokes and are shut out of the round. And uh, quite frankly, Berserk's probably thinking worst case. Uh, I guess I'm saving because we don't have credits. But it looks like it's going to be an over under Darion with another headshot from his operator. Match point, and both teams are in almost identical setups. Boom are going B, and Bleed's dynamic duo are contesting it. Sova immediately rips his dart, but Boom don't throw out a smoke this time. Hmm, this might give Jet a false sense of security to keep pushing forward. She gets ready to peek, but the attack suddenly cloudburst. It's too late to turn back now. Up again. Oh my god. They're trying to plant Famous in deep, but they don't find it right away, Darian. Jet couldn't turn tail and run. She had to go big with an unexpected play. And had a couple more knives landed, she would have shut out the game. But once Jet falls, Sova turns back to sight. He whips out his drone to try and slow down the attackers, but it's useless. The attackers keep pushing forward and unleash their harbor reckoning, but it's a fake. This entire time, Viper has been lurking up A and is calling her teammates back. Leave Jet, let her sell the fake. Viper makes it deep on his sight, but she sets off Kildra's alarm bot and the defense don't really care. Rena is still holding backside on a good off angle. And if Viper goes into spawn, I mean, that's fine, really. It would take Viper so much time to go into connector and actually get a spawn flank off. I mean, is she really going to walk all that way and then crouch through this little vent? Uh, come on. So right now, there's no need to worry about this flank, especially with this turret holding two major sight lines. So Jet tries to find a timing through spawn after hearing footsteps from Sova and the pressure her Viper's adding, but they're ready for it. Now Sky and Harbor push on a site knowing that it's clear and they feel like they need to make a play takes out famous and blazing he thinks a site is clear he's trying to come for support juicy will be able to get sky doesn't clear a corner a little bit of a twist of pain as that hides behind the high tide finds the kill once again two members only left alive for boom it's all up to blazing quite frankly Shiro, he's at half health. And Harbor can't get his. He can't get the kill. He's just trying to stay alive until Blaze comes to support him. He's waiting for Crazy Guy, but Crazy Guy just sprays as he... And the mid lurk didn't matter. They now know where Blaze is. Bleed's anchor setups and overall defensive scheme has been suffocating Boom Esports every time they've pushed onto site. And to be honest, this new Pura meta is way more fun to watch than the old spam B-Site one. You remember how bad that was?